Welcome to this next episode of the series, Being Effective with Upnote. Today we're taking a little bit of a step back from how to use Upnote, its features and its functionality, for me to do something that I've wanted to do for a long time but haven't got round to it yet. I'm going to do an in-depth review of Upnote and post it on YouTube for anyone who wants to uh, have a review of this fantastic application. But before we dive into the review, I just want to give a quick introduction to what I am considering when I review a notes application. Now, I've reviewed a few notes applications on my blog, and I'm going to be reviewing some more over the coming weeks. But here's what I'm looking for. So I tend to split it into functional criteria, which is the actual use of the app, its features and its functions, and then technical criteria, which is all of the under the hood stuff. Now, there is some overlap here, but the gist of the functional side would be four things. Uh, number one, capturing notes, getting stuff into the application. Number two, editing and formatting your notes, actually writing, formatting, laying things out. What can you do? Number three, organization, how things get sorted, structured, uh, within the application and then number four lastly retrieval how easy is it to find things again down the line the gist of the technical side would be accessibility where is the app accessible and what limitations might there be on for example mobile phones and portable versions of the app privacy and security how secure is your data and are there any issues with privacy to consider the speed of the application, load times for the application, for notes, sync speed between devices, all of that. Uh, number four, offline support, that's quite important. Number five, what are the export options? How easy is it to get your data out of the application and in what formats can you do that? And then lastly, number six, uh, bugs, bugginess. Are there any bugs or issues that are either frustrating or potentially risky? for your data, for your information. In many ways, the technical side of things don't really come into the review in my head. I tend to apply those as a straight pass fail. Uh, and if the app fails on any point of the technical issues, then I tend to move on pretty quickly. Now, how strict your requirements are for the different areas of the technical issues is going to vary based on what is important to you. So I tend to focus on the functional criteria. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into Upnote and we're going to look at those functional uh, criteria for the app, the different things that I've mentioned. So let's go straight into Upnote and have a look at those. So here we are in Upnote. And the first thing we're going to talk about is capturing notes, getting stuff into it. This is something that Upnote has vastly improved in the last six months or so. On Android, for example, Sadly, I don't know about iOS as I don't have any of those devices, but you can have a new note widget. And that means that you can quickly create a new note from your home screen at the touch of the screen, the click of a button. That is a really good feature, although at the moment you can't create a new note from within the, the, the fixed app dock at the bottom of your home screen. And that is something I would love to see them add down the line so that, that was available on every page of your home screen. Now on computers, whether this is a Windows computer or a Mac, you have a global keyboard shortcut that lets you create a new note. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my web browser. I've just got this um, blog post up by Carl Pauline. I'm on a Mac at the moment, so I'm gonna press uh, Command, Option, and N, and this box comes up, and this is where I can type my new note. And then I can get rid of that. And if I go back to Upnote, you can see that that note is now here in my uncategorized section. Upnote also comes with a web clipper. I would say this is kind of middle of the pack at the moment. It does a good job, generally speaking, of clipping text and links within a page. And it is lightning fast. So if I go back to this Carpaline blog post here and clip that open up note, you'll see here is that page clipped into Upnote. However, in order to use that web clipper, you have to have Upnote installed on your device. So, for example, you can't use the Upnote web clipper on 
Chrome OS Flex, which is something I've tried to, to use before. I have also had some experiences where, for no obvious reason, it just bookmarks the page uh, rather than clipping the actual page content. So I would say that the clipper is good, but it needs a bit of work to bring it up to the standard of, say, for example, Evernote or Notion's Web Clipper. In terms of other capture methods, one of the big downsides of Upnote at present, in my view, is that there is no way to get emails into the application, save copying and pasting with all of the associated weaknesses of doing that. If you use a web-based email app like Gmail, then you can use the Web Clipper to save a link to the email into Upnote, but that's about it. So for me at present, this missing feature is Upnote's biggest weakness. Editing and formatting, uh, actually writing, formatting and laying things out. Now Upnote's editor is in my view one of the best for a straight up note-taking application. So I'm going to show you this by, well let's go to this thing that we clipped earlier, Carl Pauline's blog post and I'll show you some of the things you can do. Obviously do all of the basics, bold, italic, underline, you can change the color of text, you can highlight text if you want to. One of the things that I love doing is using collapsible sections, so you can put all of that in a collapsible section. Uh, if you wanted to make this into a quote you can do that, you can even change the background color of quotes now, so let's make that one green. These are all of the kinds of things that you can do uh, as a basic with the editor. You can also, uh, here's one issue of the web clipper, you can see that it's not lined those up brilliantly. Uh, but if I wanted to make those things tasks for whatever reason, you can do that. It also supports markdown, so you can put that in and that creates a task. If you wanted to do a uh, title, you can do that, etc, etc. I think it's got better functions than Evernote, though some of the functions work better in Evernote. Let me explain. So the code blocks in Upnote are much better, but the tables are much better in Evernote. But Upnote has things like block quotes, like collapsible sections, which Evernote doesn't have. The big plus point for me is the ease of linking uh, to different things, which I'll elaborate on in a moment, and things like inline tags as well. But the big downside is, in some ways, the editor feels like it needs some work to be polished. Entering and formatting stuff is great, and it works really well, and is one of the best on the market. But trying to move anything around within your note is where things can get a bit difficult and things sometimes start to go a bit wrong. This has improved significantly, particularly in the last couple of months, but it is still a work in progress. The other downside for me is the lack of columns. So one of the things I like in Notion is being able to put things in columns. In Upnote, if you want to do that, you need to use a table. Um, and as I said, tables suffer from a few foibles if you try to change what's in them and move things around. So that's a bit frustrating. Organization, how things get sorted within the app. Now for me, this is where Upnote absolutely excels. There are so many ways to do this and there is a lot of flexibility without it being so flexible that you can easily get lost or lose things in the ether of the app. So your basic structure is the folder or the notebook and these are the, the notebooks that I have, uh, the top level notebooks down the side here. But these can be nested, so I'll just show you under my uh, demo project, you can nest notebooks many levels down and your notes can actually exist in more than one place. So this new project note is now in new project, it's now in nest and it's now in nest 2. Then you have inline tags. Let's go back here. Now I love inline tags because uh, 
you put them in the text, you can do whatever you want with them, and that is really, really helpful. And then notes can be linked using the square brackets uh, shortcut. So let's just link to that tomato and basil soup recipe. Uh, and then if you click that, it'll take you to that note. The other thing you can do though, which I find really, really helpful, is you have all of these sort of saved and filtered searches. Uh, if you wanted to, you could copy the link to that and paste that into a note. Uh, you can also copy the link to a project, uh, to a notebook, and then copy that into the note. For me, this area is the big plus. I should say that notes also get an information panel over here where it will list all of the tags in the note. It'll give you a table of contents. And if other notes, let me show you it for this one, which is linked to, you get your table of contents there and then you also get a list of other notes that link to this note. So let's go back there. For me, this is where Upnote excels. There are many good options for organizing things, but it has boundaries as well, meaning you don't spend your life tinkering, you don't spend your life losing things in the ether of the app. Lastly, retrieval, finding things again down the line. Overall, finding things manually is pretty straightforward because the organization is so good. Nested hierarchy of notebooks and the tags page and the, the list of tags. The search is pretty good as well. It's not as powerful as Evernote, but it is, my, it is better in my opinion than Microsoft OneNote search. It's useful, the search, it could do with a bit more work. You can also save searches as well for future reference. That's what these are down here. They're effectively saved searches. You would do that by filtering your all notes list by a keyword and then saving it in this list. You can use the, the, the keyword filter to find notes that contain more than one specific tag. But at present, there isn't a way for you to filter it based on one tag or another tag, it has to be both of them. So the search works, it does the job, but in my view it needs a bit more work if it's to become as good as Evernote search. So that's the functional criteria of Upnote. I think it's pretty good, I think it's pretty strong, but it does have some weaknesses compared to some other apps. Now in addition to the functionality of an application, as I said, there's some key technical things of these applications that can be the making or breaking of them. As I said, I apply these pass fail and I just want to think about a few things with you with regards to Upnote, just to give you a bit of a feel for my thoughts here. So accessibility, where is it accessible and what limitations are there on portable devices like phones? Well, Upnote is available everywhere uh, with the exception that there is no web app. So if a web app is important to you, then Upnote is not your application. But other than that, it's on Windows, it's on Mac, it's on Android, it's on iOS, it's on Linux. So it's pretty accessible. Privacy and security. How secure is your data and are there any issues with privacy? So Upnote has a fairly good privacy policy, I think, and you can actually use the free version of the application without an account meaning all of your notes are stored locally on your computer and they, they're not on Upnote servers at all. If you have an account, then the data gets synced to a, a Google Firebase server, which is in the USA, and it's encrypted in transit and at rest. One of the things I see a lot on Reddit is uh, people commenting that this just is not good enough. It is, however, fairly standard for most applications like this. And there are only a handful of Notes apps that will offer you better privacy, like Notes Nook, for example. So I would say if privacy and security matters to you that much, then most of the apps will be ruled out here on that pass fail test. And you'll be looking at something like Notes Nook that offers end-to-end -end encryption. The speed of the application, load times for the application, notes, sync speed, sync speed between devices. Upnote is lightning fast. It's fast to open, it's fast to sync. And so far, of all of the applications that I've used, 
up note seems to be the fastest. So I've compared it to OneNote, I've compared it to Notion, I've compared it to Evernote. And of all of them, for me, UpNote comes out on top. It's faster to sync, faster to open uh, than Evernote, than OneNote, than other Notes applications I've tried. Notion's sync is faster, but Notion is slower to load. So speed of the application, I think it's one of the best. Offline support, I've never encountered any issues accessing any of my notes whilst offline. So this again is one of the best. Export options, how easy is it to get data out of the app and in what format? Export from UpNote is actually one of the developer's key priorities. So notes can be exported as plain text, in Markdown, in HTML format or as PDF files. You can do this for individual notes or any number of notes all at once. You can select, uh, I've never tested the limits, but you can select hundreds of notes and export them all at once as far as I've tested. And when you are exporting multiple notes all at once, you can either export them as one single document or multiple separate documents for each note, whether that's a markdown, an HTML file or a text file. Export options is actually a really strong point of the app. So if this matters to you, UpNote is, is pretty good here. Bugginess. Are there any bugs or issues that are either frustrating or risky? Well, UpNote is in development. It's a, in some ways a relatively new app, so it doesn't feel quite as polished as some of the other apps that I've used but it has actually improved a lot in the 18 months that I've been using it. I've never encountered any bugs that I would consider risky, but there are a few that are frustrating. This is largely to do with the editor, as I mentioned earlier, and things you're not being able to move things around within your notes particularly well. Copying and pasting in tables, for example, uh, needs work. It should be noted that when you spot a bug, emailing the support team normally gets it resolved within a few days or, or a couple of weeks. They are excellent at responding to issues. So on the whole, as a notes application, I believe that UpNote is the best straight up and simple note taking application. A lot a lot of the updates that are coming are just making this app better and better as well. And with a lot of other apps out there bit wanting to go down the all-in-one productivity suite or productivity platform route, I'm thankful that there is one app in UpNote that is working hard to be the best dedicated note-taking application that it can be. I can't bring myself to give it a nine out of 10 due to the missing features that I've mentioned and some of the little bugs that I've talked about, however. So if I were gonna score the application, I would give it eight and a half out of 10. I highly recommend this app. If you've liked this video, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna produce more and more UpNote videos as more and more features uh, get released and as I learn how to use the app more. There's also my being effective, uh, building an effective productivity system series that I'm producing as well at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a link over here to both that playlist and my UpNote playlist. So please do check out those two playlists of videos, more videos being added to those all of the time. Thank you for watching.